Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra and I'm gonna show y'all how to smell good on a budget. Okay, so I'm like obsessed with perfume. I think I have over 40 bottles now. So if y'all want like a perfume collection, please let me know because I have way too many. I've gotten really good at finding high-end and niche dupes. I've bought so many different body mist and perfumes that I know what's great and what's not so great so I can put y'all on. So I'm gonna start off with perfumes just because I like perfumes more. Plus they last longer than body mist. Okay, so my first one is from Dossier. Y'all know I love a good Dossier scent. This one is called Musky Green Tea and it's a dupe for the Creed Silver Mountain Water. This just smells so Good. This is actually a mint cologne, but I'm pretty sure it's marketed as unisex as well. This is pretty masculine, but not to the point where women can't pull it off. I have been wearing this one for like the past few weeks and it smells so good. So Dossier has this whole risk-free purchase thing going on. So if you're not satisfied, you can just send it back and they give you your full refund. They're always having sales too. You get 20% off if you get three or more. You can get like five perfumes for less than the price of one high-end perfume. Everything on their site ranges from $29 to $49, so it's very, very affordable. I added five of them to my car and it came out to $97. And then I got 20% off, and then you can get an extra 10% off with my code SierraRiley10. But y'all, it just smells so good. So it has all the notes on the bottle. This has notes of green tea, bergamot, mandarin, neroli, black currant, musk, and sandalwood. And it just, it just smells so good. It's like crisp and clean. It's like one of those shower fresh type of scents. This is pretty fruity, which makes it easier for women to wear. I really like to use this one when I get out of the shower after I use like a cucumber body wash. It just smells so fresh and clean. Well, this is $49 compared to the $410 Creed Silver Mountain Water. And I have smelled the actual Creed Cologne in store and these are identical. So the next one is a dupe for what everybody wants. This is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. It's called Ambry Saffron, also from Dossier. So this has notes of saffron, orange blossom, jasmine, plum, cedarwood, oak moss, fir blossom, and amber. And the notes aren't the same, but they smell the same. So I like to mix it with something that has vanilla, but other than that, it's pretty hard to tell the difference. But if I were to smell like Baccarat, I could smell like Baccarat for $49. This next one is actually, wait, let me just show you the bottle. I've had this for a month and I've used that much of it. Um, so that should tell you it's really, really good. So this one's called Oriental Cherry and this is a dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I actually have Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and it smells so good. This smells exactly like Lost Cherry and actually this one lasts longer. Tom Ford's scents are really nice but they fade after like an hour or two but this lasts on me all day and when i tell you i get so many compliments when i wear this i actually wore this to the airport last week and i was washing my hands in the bathroom and somebody walked in and they were like somebody smells really good and i was like it's me and then they were like is it and they walked over to me and they're like oh my goodness what is that it was this y'all so this is the truth this scent is so unique which is why i love it it's just like a very boozy syrupy cherry liqueur type of scent and i've never smelled something that has a cherry scent you normally get like floral or fresh or citrusy i've never smelled a cherry perfume before but this next perfume is from chorus or chorus this one is called vanilla freesia this was 48 dollars and i just wanted something that was vanilla and also a little bit floral like i've been looking for a vanilla orchid scent or like a vanilla freesia scent since I really love vanilla fragrances and I was smelling this and I was like this smells like something I've smelled before this smells exactly like flower bomb from Victor and Rolf so if you love flower bomb but you don't want to spend hundred and twenty dollars on a little bottle of perfume I definitely recommend checking this one out I did not mean to find a dupe but I did so the notes in this one are bergamot tea lychee jasmine peach freesia vanilla, patchouli, and musk. And I normally hate anything that has patchouli. I hate patchouli notes. It smells dirty. Like patchouli just has a very dirty smell, but you don't get it at all in here. It really just smells like tea, lychee, 
vanilla and flowers. It smells just like flower bomb. Even though this is an eau de toilette, it has pretty decent lasting power. This lasts for like, I say three to four hours. And then you can just sort of kind of smell it, but this is a really good one and it's pretty inexpensive. Okay, so this next one I'm really excited about. I actually have it on right now. This is rumored to be Rihanna's signature scent. There's been a lot of talk about Rihanna wearing Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. And it's like $240, but I got this one from Okja and it's called Sweet Attic. It looks like, it kind of looks like a Coco Noir bottle from Chanel. This isn't a regular perfume, it's an X straight. So normally perfumes have like 10 to 15% concentration. This has 30 to 40%. This one at first I really didn't like. Love Don't Be Shy has a very medicinal smell. When I first smelled it, I was like, oh my God, this smells like grape cough syrup, like children's cough syrup. I cannot. It made me want to gag, like it was just disgusting. But things smell differently on your skin, so I decided to try it out on my actual skin. The cough syrup smell completely disappeared after like two minutes, so I'm very pleased. This has marshmallow, caramel, pink pepper, jasmine. It's just very sweet. This is super, super sweet. So if you like sweet smells, you'll like this one. This can actually get a little bit sickly sweet. So if you're not a fan of very, very sweet scents, don't get this one but I love it. Right now it smells like this syrupy, caramel, marshmallow, bubblegum type of vibe. I sprayed this on eight hours ago and I can smell it. Like it's, it's very much there. They only come in a one ounce size and they're all $39.95, but since it is so strong and concentrated, you really only need like three sprays. I mean, I'm an over sprayer, so I did like seven sprays, but this is really good and very, very spot on. This is a dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirkajan. And I love Gentle Fluidity Gold. A lot of people are starting to not wear Baccarat anymore because too many people wear it, but I mean, perfume smells different on everyone, so I don't really see why it's a problem. But apparently Gentle Fluidity Gold is the next best thing. I had a sample of it and it smelled so good. It's like vanilla, amber, berries this literally smells the same for two hundred dollars less next one is pink sugar i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all already know about this one or have this one but you can get this for like 16 dollars on walmart.com i used to wear this all the time in middle school and it's a little bit childish but i feel like i mean people can wear what they want it just smells very good like cotton candy sugar strawberry raspberry this is for somebody who loves the color pink wears a lot of blush and probably just has like an empty mind like just elevator music playing in their head at all times but she's very sweet she's a nice person i have a few perfume oils i normally hate roll-on perfumes because i like to get my clothes but i remember i went out to dinner with my friend a few months ago and i was wearing like a thick turtleneck sweater and i was wearing a perfume oil and i was like oh well She's not gonna be able to smell it. And when we sat down, she was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good, what are you wearing? And I was like, what? I have on perfume oil. And it was from Oil Perfumery. I was wearing their Baccarat Rouge 540 X-ray dupe. They have niche and designer scents, so if you've been looking for niche scent dupes, then check out Oil Perfumery or Okja. I really like this one. It's a dupe for Creed Virgin Island Water. And I've been wearing it a lot. It just screams summer. It just smells like, like you're on vacation. It's like lime. A little kiss of coconut i love this one and i also got compliments when i wore this so this next one from oil perfumery is their impression of royal princess food from creed it's like fresh there has to be fruit in there somewhere actually let me find the notes instead of trying to be difficult this has bergamot rose violet jasmine vanilla patchouli iris benzoin sandalwood and styrax okay that makes sense i knew it smelled like fresh grass Whenever I smell roses, I think they smell like grass. So that's probably why I thought this smelled like fresh grass. It smells really good. It's like citrusy, fresh, floral. And I normally hate florals, but this one is done nicely. So if you want to smell like Royal Princess Oud for $18, honey, then check out Oil Perfumery. This retails for $445, but I got it for $18. Moving on to my favorite affordable body sprays. My absolute favorite body mist of all time right now is the Chirosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro. I normally wear Brazilian Crush all the time, but this one knocked the Brazilian Crush Chirosa 62 out of the way. This has caramelized vanilla, macadamia, coconut blossom, white chocolate and tonka bean. I love anything with tonka bean, anything with vanilla. And it could definitely be a year round scent. It's just very sweet. It smells like fresh baked macadamia cookies, but then it has like the sea salt and the coconut blossom to make it more warm weather appropriate. But 
I love this one and it's actually a hair and body mist. So I like to just go all over like that and I smell good for a very long time. Well, the Janeiro's body mists have such good lasting power. They're almost as good as a perfume. And this is only $19. So it's very cheap and you get like a perfume quality. I don't ever talk about Bath & Body Works just because I don't go to Bath & Body Works, but I really like this one. It's called Into the Night and it smells expensive it has berries and mocha and just dark rich notes this is a very long lasting body mist all of the body mists that i'm talking about are long lasting i feel like in order for your scent to be worth it it needs to last otherwise what is the point of buying it this next one is very well loved and it is the victoria's secret bare vanilla body mist this reminds me of when i started doing tiktok <laughs> Victoria's Secret is always having those sales. You can get five for 20 and stuff like that. So definitely be on the lookout for their sales. That's when I stock up on body mist because there's no way I'm paying $16.50 for a body splash. This one lasts so long. It just sticks onto your clothes. I like to put this on my blanket sometimes. It's just a super cozy smell. I haven't worn this one that much because I feel like it's more for the summer and I bought this in the winter so I haven't really gotten a chance to wear it but this is the Victoria's Secret Bali Coconut Palm Body Mist. It smells exactly what you think it would smell like. It is a pineapple coconut scent. Very tropical. It just reminds me of being on the beach. It's definitely like something that could be your everyday summer scent. The few times I have worn this, it lasted pretty long on my clothes and on my skin, maybe like four hours. That's it for this video, y'all. I hope that I was able to put y'all on to some good affordable scents. But all of these scents are bomb and they're under $50, so you're not going to go broke trying to smell rich. Try them out. Let me know what you think. Hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.